Alrighty, boys, welcome to another fighter showcase. Today, we are using Mauricio Shogun Hua in the light heavyweight division. He is set to face OSB or Vincent Pru at UFC 274. I mean, the last the last time we saw Mauricio was against Paul Craig. That was a rematch. Okay, should be interesting. A rematch against Paul Craig. Of course, the first time he met Paul Craig, the fight ended up in a split decision. Second time, Shogun got stopped. He he was he actually submitted, like he he uh, he tapped, but he tapped the strikes. Thank you. And this is not the first time Shogun has done this. Um, he definitely tapped the strikes against John Jones, even though it was counted as a TKO. But if you go back and watch that. Um, it should have been counted as a submission because he, he tapped out to strikes. John Jones was was battering him just badly. Um, but he's facing OSP next, and it's going to be very interesting to see how that fight goes. I think it's a very interesting matchup. Shogun's been fighting a long time, man. Set him down right there. He's been fighting a long time from his pride days. To becoming a UFC champion. I mean, he's accomplished a lot. He just has. But to say he has lost a step will be a massive understatement. It's going to be very curious to see what his future looks like. Because of all the damage he's taken in, in his career. Alright, let's see. Send him back here. And see Frozy. Kick. So we're going to try to do a very similar tactic here where I'm just going to back up this first round. Just let him play. Let him do his thing. Get him used to a very specific type of fight pace. And then we're going to leg kick. Head kick. Oh, okay. And then we'll see. Well, maybe I'll just fight him at this pace the whole time. We'll see. We'll see how it feels. But I think, I think we're gonna switch things up on him in round number, round number two. Because right now he's very, you can see he's, he's so used to being the one that's leading the dance. If we switch things up on him, he's going to be shocked, and and he's not going to be able to, like I just don't think he's going to adjust to it fast enough. The damage would have already been done. Nope. <laughs> I need to be very careful though, exchanging with with Chuck. Oh ho! Oh, yes. Sit him down with that beautiful head kick. Uh huh. Like kick again, that leg is hurt. I love these weight classes, the heavyweight division and the light heavyweight division. Like, I know a lot of people are not very fond of it. But you just see everything, man. Like, the strikes are not coming at you too fast, even if the opponent is being aggressive. I also like the fact that the this weight class rewards efficiency it really does if you're efficient like the light heavyweight and the heavyweight division it really rewards efficiency because it's not going to take you too long thank you it won't take you too long to actually hurt the opponent so if you're the kind of person with very good counters very slick this is the weight class for you Yeah. I like the way I'm playing with Shogun right now. We'll just keep doing it. I don't want to get too crazy with him. Keep that Muay Thai going. <coughs> okay. Oh ho! 
Another leg kick to the other leg. If we can damage both legs, money. Set him down with the left hook. We're doing some pretty good striking right now. That's it. Set him down. That should be it. That should be it. Give me a finish right here, baby. All right. He survives. Nope. I'm going to stay on the ground for just a bit. Side control. Let's go to the other side. Take us back. I just love how one hook is is hanging and the other is not even in. Like, what the hell? Shogun, where's your right hook, bro? Where's your right hook? I was talking about the, the hooks from the back. When you take the back and you put the hooks in. With the ground and pound... We do not throw in hope. We aim and fire. Okay. Nope. Half guard. Posture again. There we go. <laughs> See where he blocks. We go the other other direction. Imagine a situation where, like, you can stay postured for as long as you want. As opposed to, like, you throw a little bit of ground and pound and the game forces you to posture down. Like, you know, it's kind of uh, how how EA UFC 4 went back in terms of grappling is, is still beyond me, man. Still beyond me. We've lost control of so many things that we were able to do before, like like being able to transition while we're postured up for one, like at will. You can still do it right now, but the game tells you when you can. Like when you've gained enough grapple advantage, then oh my god, that was brutal. Yep, front kick. Y'all said I don't throw a... Ooh! Don't do it! That's it! That's it! Man, players, they just... It's instantaneous. Good fight, man. Good fight. Anytime they feel like you're going to be low on stamina, the first thing they want to do is start attacking your body. I say it all the time. That is when you look for that uppercut. I threw the flying knee. He knew that... Me whiffing that flying knee means I'm now low on short-term stamina. So he thought, let me bang his body. Nope. Uppercut. All right. Let's move on. Okay. This dude has a win over me. Ah, uh, well. He picked. He's using DC, so get ready to grapple, I guess. Yeah. Man, we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to be a, aggressive against this man. You have to be aggressive. Especially if he wants to rest. Brass. And of course with DC, it doesn't change. It never changes. We work the buddy. Oh, I don't have to be aggressive. Hold on. Looks like he's giving me a, a striking posture. I like it. <laughs> We're both doing the same thing. Backing up at the right time. See that? Backs up. Yep, like right there. Uh-huh. We're both playing footsies right now. Let's see who wins. Let's see. Dude, what the hell? 
to the body. Yeah. Set him down. I wonder when he starts shooting. Nope. Yep. Got him. Oh, he was about to shoot right there, but we caught him with the leg kick. Yeah, now I'm staying close to him because I just know he wants to. He wants to get me down. So I'm just staying close to him to try to make him uncomfortable. Ah. Nope. He's going to shoot again. Nope. I figured. I figured he would double it up. Nah. Careful. Oh, God damn it. Nah. Okay, okay. I drew blood. He drew blood, but I was able to sit him down. So, in my opinion, that pretty much gives me the round. So, just keep doing what we're doing. Right there, left hook, boom, left hook on the chin. Sit down, Daniel. Another one, uppercut, left hook. Sit him down. Let me know in the comments who you guys are rooting for. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Shogun in this one. I think, it will be a, I think it will be a very good win, man, for him. It will be a good win. I just don't know. I don't know, man. Shogun's slow, like, especially now. It's, I mean, he's so slow these days. The game of this, like, I mean, UFC 4 actually makes him see him a lot faster than he actually is. You know, it's... They're, they're like, two, the two distinct fighters I can, like, think of in the light heavyweight division where I'm like, yeah, those guys are slow. Sit him down. Like, I think of them, and I'm like, yeah, they're slow, bro. Glover Teixeira, one of them. Shogun is number two. Like, Glover is so slow. Like, when you look at Glover punch, it's just... Like, he's not quick twitch in any way, shape, or form. Shogun, I feel like when he was younger, was definitely quick twitch. But these days, it's just... Aha! Uh -huh. I'm beating him with the footsies right now. We go when he whiffs. We throw back up. He whiffs. We go. Hold on. Yeah, right there. See that? <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, that's the timing. That's the timing I was... And he's gone. That's the timing I was looking for. He whiffs. While he's whiffing, that's when we go. Because as we go, he's not going to have enough conditioning to go back. So he can't steal my turn. I can I can snowball him. This is beautiful. Good, good, good shit. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did... Leave a like. Really appreciate it. Always helps out. And I will see you guys later today with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good morning, boys.